Welcome back. And in this test drive, we're going to take a spin through LMN's CRM application. So CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. This is where you're going to enter all your leads and clients and all the information about them. And it's how you're going to have a one-stop shop to manage all their information. And because it's cloud-based, you're going to be able to get at that information from anywhere and everywhere. It's a great tool for improving your customer service and closing leads more effectively. So let's see how it works. Start by going back to your trial, and then on the left-hand side, click CRM. Now you're gonna to wanna to click the contacts part of the CRM, and that's where you're gonna find your list of clients and leads. Now there's not much in here in this sample. We don't wanna fill your account up with a whole bunch of fake clients and leads. So there's just enough here to give you a taste of how it works. But you can see here, you'll be able to search for a client, filter by type, filter by tag, which we'll get to later, or even filter by alphabet. You can also import your clients from CSV files or from your QuickBooks database and export them as well to CSV files so you can export marketing lists, etc., to different other types of software. Let's get you started by entering your first lead. Simply go up here to the top right and click Add New. Now it's going to default to a lead as the type because we're assuming that when you're adding somebody, they're probably not a client yet. But you could add a client, a vendor, subcontractor, employee, or many other types. Next, you're going to give them a name. Let's say we're going to enter the Briar residence. And they're at 8 Ipswich Avenue. Now, you'll notice as you start typing the address, Google will come up with some suggestions for addresses for you. Use it. By selecting Google's address, it'll automatically enter the city, the state, the country, the postal code. And that way, your information is complete, it's accurate, and it's consistent. No more problems missing pieces of information that somebody in counting has to flush out later because somebody on the estimate didn't fill it out properly. It's all there for you. Now over here, we need to enter the last name and first name of the contact. And we've done that there. If you have it, put their phone number in there and their email as well. You don't necessarily need all the fields. That's enough to get us started. Click OK. And I've created my first lead. On the left hand side is all the address we did. Now on the right hand side we can fill out some more information like classification. For instance, this client is a residential client. Optionally, I could assign them to somebody in my company. I could also fill out the referral source, that is where they heard about us from. So if the Briars heard about us from our website, I could go here and pick website. Tags are also a great tool. Tags are like lists that you can add clients to. You can set up your own tags at any time on the left hand side. But if the Briars were an install prospect, I could start typing install and then choose prospect install and add that tag to them. That'll add them to that list so that if I ever want to pull a list of all my install prospects, it's super easy. Great, you're good. Now we go to the contact section. And there's the contact information for Danielle that we typed in earlier. If you want to add Danielle's husband, just as easy. Go new contact and fill out his information. If Henry doesn't want to be called, we can simply tick off the do not call box and that'll log that as well. Any job sites will be listed in here. So that's their job site information with their address. But you could have multiple job sites in the case of a commercial customer. You can also upload files to job sites using LMN Pro. So if I go upload files, I might upload a picture of their backyard for instance. Now that'll be stored with the client record. So if I ever want to look back at that job, all the information about that job will be there, including things like photos or locates, signed contracts, anything you want. The estimates list will be a list of all the estimates we've done for this client. Now, if you're working through a brand new client, you've got no estimates, so no worries. But as you start building estimates for this client, they'll start to appear here as well. We can jump right to the communication history. And let's say because they just called, we want to leave a note. So click new communication note. Once you've got the note in there, simply click OK to save it. Now, LMN can do even more with notes. You can send emails to clients and BCC them to CRM at GoLMN.com. That'll automatically insert the text of that email in here as well. So if you're sending emails that you want to track automatically in CRM, no problem. Just make sure you BCC us and it'll use your name and the client's name to make sure it associates it with the right account. And finally, we might want to set ourselves a to-do, a reminder that we had to meet Danielle to go over this backyard plant. So I go to the to-do sections. Now I'm going to go new to-do. I'm going to assign it to myself, 
and I'm going to set a due date of next Saturday. We'll set the priority to high, and the progress is pending. And if I need extra instructions, I can put them there too. I can click OK to save this note, and we're good. But if I want to take this a step further, I can even sync this note to my calendar so that I automatically get a reminder when this is going to happen. You just do that by going down here and hitting Send a Calendar. Make sure that's your email or whoever the person who's going to handle this account's email is. Then I set my to-do date, which is the date that we set next Saturday. I'll set my time, and maybe she wants to meet at 2 p.m. And then a reminder I'll put for an hour ahead of time. Now I've got a reminder in my calendar for that task. And whether I use Outlook or iCal or Google Calendar, it'll be there ready to remind me when it's about to be due. Congratulations, you've just entered your first lead. It's that easy. Once you've got your head around that, you're ready for our next test drive, which is estimating. Questions, concerns, need more help? Once again, take a look at that email we sent. At the bottom of the email will be an invitation to reach out to us and book a one-on-one -on -one with an advisor. Or you can use our live chat, or you can use any one of our hundreds of help videos to help you get around the details of what we just went through. Don't be a stranger. We're here to help you get set up and running.